Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. I pray everybody's doing well. Well, I got some good news uh, with all this bad news. <laughs> it seems like every day there's just tremendously bad news everywhere you look, uh, wars and rumors of wars. But I thought I'd uh, give uh, a bit of good news. Uh, this is coming out of the Times of Israel. The title reads, American support for Israel among the highest ever recorded. Even among Democrats and the young, Israel enjoys at least a 2 to 1 advantage over Palestinian Authority Gallup funds. That's wonderful news. That's wonderful news. Uh, let's go into a little of the article, and I want to show you a scripture after this that backs this up. In a study headline, quote, Americans remain staunchly in Israel's corner. The Gallup company published the findings of a major national poll that found Backing for Israel among Americans remains extremely high, with some measure of support matching the highest previously recorded figures. Quote, American stance on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is, is a, as strong uh, pro-Israel as at any time in Gallup's three-decade trend, the polling research company said in the report published Tuesday. Now, I want to show you uh, something uh, out of Genesis 12, 3. Now, this is God uh, talking in Genesis 12, 3. And, he, and he's talking about uh, Israel, the Jewish people. And he said, "Come." this is coming from God now, I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. God is talking about Israel, the, the Israeli people. Uh, you know, when America really came on a stage after World War II to become the superpower of the world, and our dollar became the currency of the world, uh, we became the superpower of the world, the world protector of human rights. Uh, it's because if we uh, helped the Jewish people uh, get their land, and we freed them from the concentration camps, or helped free them uh, from the concentration camps. And uh, we uh, we supported the state of Israel and helped Israel become a uh, once again after all these many many years a country once again. And uh, just remember that next time you think about Israel, what Genesis twelve three says: "I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee, and these shall all families of the earth be blessed." Now. I catch a lot of heat, and I've said this many times before. I catch a tremendous amount of heat for my support of the Israeli people and the Jewish people. Now, uh, you'd be amazed how many people out there that really don't like, I'm talking about outside the United States and elsewhere, that do, does not like the Jewish people and does not like the state of Israel and is planning and plotting to uh, destroy Israel. But we know that won't uh, happen because the, the, the eye of God is com completely on Israel. And, you know, that's why Israel, the wars that Israel's been in since they've been a state, has been so confusing to study at places like West Point and such, such, is because in all the wars they've been in, they should technically, documentally, they shouldn't have won. They were so outnumbered. But God, they, they prevailed in all the wars uh, because God is on their side. But I wanted to give you this fresh news. It's a short, uh, brief uh, video this morning. I wanted to give you some good news that uh, the people in the United States, the majority of us, support Israel, and uh, we will be blessed in return, I can assure you. With that in said, we love y'all. We're thinking about y'all, and God bless you all. Amen.